All right, so here is a SAT problem I want to take a look at. So this has negative 3x plus 21px equals 84. And the given equation p is a constant. The equation has no solution. What is the value of p? All right, so our answer choices are possible values of p. So we could solve this by plugging in these values for p and see which one causes to have it to have you know no solution. All right, so if we plug in zero for P, we'll have negative three X plus 21 times zero X equals 84. So that's negative three X, 21 times zero times X is zero. So then you have equal 84. Divide both sides by three or negative three. It's going to give us negative 28. So that does have a solution. Okay, negative 28. All right, now if we try answer choice B, 1 7th, do the same thing. Negative 3x plus 21 times 1 7th x equal 84. So we have negative 3x, 21 times 1 7th, 21 divided by 7 is 3. So 3x equal 84. Negative 3x plus 3x is 0. Okay, so you get 0 equal 84. Okay, when you have that, when the variables drop out and both sides of the equation have different values, then that's no solution. Okay, so it says no solution uh, when p is 1 7th. Okay, if you plug in the other ones, 4 thirds and 4, you get some values for those. If you do the four thirds, you end up with in decimal 3.36. If you plug in four for P, you end up with 1.037. So you can also solve this with decimals. So let's put that equation in. Okay. And we want to use a slider for P, you know, it did show up when I originally had it, or you just plug it, you know, type in P into the next line, P equals one. All right, so we have the values of P, so we just plug those in. If I plug in zero, okay, zoom out a little bit here, then we have our answer, our negative 28. Okay, so that is a solution. Then we plug in our one seventh. Okay, and we notice here, we don't see any vertical line, so it doesn't have any solution. Okay, if we try the four thirds, okay, we have a solution here, and that's at our 3.36. We set P the four, and we got a value at 1.037. So one seventh is the one that doesn't give us a solution. Okay. Another way to think of this is two lines. Okay. If I have negative 3x, one of the lines, I move the 21px to the other side, that end up giving me negative 21px plus 84. Okay. Again, you know, there's a slider here. All right, so we have this red line, this green line. Right now, you know, they're, they meet at this point. So in order to have no solution with two lines, the two lines have to have the same slope, but different y-intercepts, okay? And we kind of see the first one, you know, just think of three x as a y-intercept of zero. The second one, we have a y-intercept of 84. So they have different y-intercepts. We just need to have the same slope, okay? Now, this is a little bit harder because the answer, we know the answer is one seventh. So if I change my slider, you know, we can see a line moving um, at point one. Let me zoom in a little bit, you know, it looks, we can tell it's not parallel. Point two is not, you know, 
it's still not parallel. So we know it's kind of in between 0.1 and 0.2. Okay, but we can put in our answer choices. We know it's one seven, so I'll just put that in. And then now you can tell that those two lines are parallel. Okay. Now the slider is a little bit harder to use if it's if the values some kind of decimal or fraction like this. Usually when you use a you know slider, it might be for the most part uh, integer. There can be answers that are you know down to the hundredth. Okay, twenty point two five or something like that. Okay, something like this. You know, I showed you different methods on how to solve it. So you know, go which one you understand the best. Um, putting the whole equation in, plug in the answer choices. Here you want to do that. Okay, sometimes when it's a you know student response one. Those usually come out to better numbers. So you wouldn't have a one seventh as an answer. You might have an integer, or you'd be able to, uh, you know, use the slider to, to hone in to that decimal value of it. Okay. All right. So it said no solution. Remember that means you won't be able to solve for x. Or if you were to graph it, there'd be two parallel lines that do not intersect. So they need the same slope and at different y-intercepts, okay? All right, hopefully this helped you understand how to solve this problem. Thanks.